The clock is ticking for Kelda Royce. As the former Democrat State Assembly rep wrapped up Thursday's event at Eau Claire's Labor Temple, she asked for help in a few areas, including... Fourth, money. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. Her campaign for governor, however, has found some strength in its financing. Data from the Wisconsin Ethics Commission shows Royce has the most cash on hand ahead of next month's primary. We've got the resources and the boots on the ground to help make sure that voters are aware that there's an election and what's at stake. Figuring out how and when to spend that cash on hand is not just a question sitting with Royce, as almost every Democrat in the field for governor has less than four weeks now to try and answer it. Among them, former state Democrat Party Chair Matt Flynn, who released a new television ad this week. My first day as governor, I'll go to court and stop Foxconn. While keeping an eye on his and Royce's pocketbooks. Right now in cash on hand, uh, we are number two and really, really number one. If you look at the number one uh, borrowed uh, more than the value, she's mortgaged more than the value of her house to borrow it. We don't think that she's going to actually spend it. I'm a businesswoman and a successful entrepreneur, so I don't need to take advice from uh, any man on that. Money aside, Flynn and Royce are chasing yeah, so state superintendent Tony Evers, uh, who has more support in the polls than the rest of the field combined. I know we have enough money to do TV ads across the state, so we, we that that is not a not a concern of mine. In fact, we continue to raise money. We're raising money as uh, as we speak today, and we'll continue to do that. All the Democrats trail Republican incumbent Scott Walker, whose campaign announced they have more than $8.6 million cash on hand. That's what you're going to get from me as your governor. Roy says her campaign plans TV ads in the coming days and maintains her sprint is for August 14th and beyond. We've got to make sure we can win in November so that we can take our state in a new direction and make sure that we're the best place to raise a family and the best place to grow a business. Spread the word. Let's go win. In Eau Claire, Jesse Horn, WEAU 13 News.